Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Antonia. I have another little styling video for you guys today as summer creeps its way into Toronto, I guess. But it's really, really nice here now. We're only gonna be able to enjoy this for basically two seconds. But we gotta take advantage, even though we can't go anywhere because, hello, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. But at least on your neighborhood walk, you might look styling, right? So, this isn't included in it. I'm just actually wearing this dress today and I'm going to try to only include items that you can currently buy in Aritzia. This is the Mayday dress from Sunday Best. I purchased this in the winter time, so like winter 2019. It actually went on super sale when the winter sale came along, especially in this orange color, but this orange color is so summer. So I'm excited about this because it's the first time I'm actually like wearing the dress. My little sister Vicky actually bought it in the Stardust color and it looks phenomenal on her as well. I'm wearing a size medium and this is such a good dress if you are pregnant or if you just have a food baby because it's elastic here. I've talked about this in the dress before so if you're a avid subscriber or you hate my channel but you love to watch my videos, I see you guys, I see you guys. Um, thanks for supporting anyways. Well this is a great dress for that and then this is also adjustable to see like how much cleavage you want to show off or if you want to show off all of it. But yeah, so I'm so excited because I'm finally wearing this out. I'm gonna pair it with a pair of Chanel espadrilles and then have a little canteen bag and it will be like a really cute, it'll be a really cute dress to take a walk in. As I said in like one of my previous videos, I got tested for COVID. By the way, it came back negative, so unfortunately I still gotta go see my ENT. Yeah, I need to figure out what's happening with my right ear. Just wanted to update you guys on that in case you were wondering. Second thing I wanna address, hair is still extremely messy. What is going on? These are not your curls. I know, I know. They're not my curls that I like showed in a video on how to curl my hair, which I normally like to wear, but I'm trying to keep heat off of it because since I haven't been able to go get my hair cut, the ends have been feeling really dry and fried and I'm just kind of lazy. So when my hair is like half dry, half wet, I throw it into my like little braid and then I wake up with like some sort of mess that looks like this. See, like this side looks okay, but this side is just not good. Anyways, let's get into the styling video. Here is the first outfit. I'm wearing the Sonnet top in a size medium and I have on the Sonnet skirt. So this is actually like in the entire Sonnet realm. I really like these two pieces and sometimes they create sets like this to make it easier for you guys. But honestly, if you don't have this particular skirt with this um, really beautiful like lace detailing, you can definitely just do any sort of slip skirt, but it's finally the season and time that we can wear this. Yes, I still have a tag attached to it because like even this shirt, obviously I haven't been able to wear it, but it is on my list of outfits to wear. This top is super versatile too. If you don't want to wear it like this, you can wear it with a pair of jeans, it would be really cute. And you can wear it with even the twirl skirt. I know somebody asked me about the twirl skirt before and asked me my opinion on it. Honestly, when I tried it on, I bought it like a few years ago. I bought it and then I tried it on. I think I had a video for it too. It looked really terrible. I don't know which video because obviously I make like way too many, but there is footage of me wearing it and it made me look so, it just didn't look good. It like, like really emphasized my roles and it made me look really preggers. Anyways, I don't like the twirl skirt, but if you have any of these slip skirts, like the, um, just regular slip skirts, that would work totally fine as well. The Babaton ones would be really cute, but I just figured I'd show you guys the Sonnet outfit because right now you can get both pieces. Um, they are currently on sale. I know they have a sale that 
is public right now and not a lot of people have known about it because they didn't really advertise it because of the current events in the world right now. But just to let you know, in this video, both pieces are on sale. I don't think they are on like super sale at the moment, especially this black sonnet skirt and this really beautiful color. I love this one. The top is in the Marmont color and then the bottom is in the black. I am wearing a size, I'm actually wearing a size eight in this. I thought I was wearing a size six, but I guess I'm wearing a size eight. I have a size six in the slip skirt, which is I guess why I thought so. But I really like the fit of both of these. They fit really nice. Outfit number two, I am wearing the entire Torino set. Can you guys tell I like sets? The Sonnet set was honestly a mistake. Um, I didn't like plan on buying those two items, but this set was not a mistake. I purchased this earlier in like, I think April of 2020. And originally I had envisioned that I would wear it to Disney to go to Animal Kingdom. If you guys follow my channel or follow me on Instagram, by the way, follow me on Instagram, underscore hello Harley. But if you follow me there or you watch my channels avidly, then you know I'm no stranger to Disney. I love Disney, all the parks, all of them. Doesn't matter where it is in the world, I will be there. Um, actually, I haven't been to two of them yet, so. Eventually I'll get there. Thinking, cause I usually go to Disney World like maybe once a year or so at least. So I want to wear this to Animal Kingdom. Originally I liked the TNA cargo shorts, but then I felt this was like a little bit more elevated. This is the Trino set, as I mentioned earlier from Babaton. You can still get both pieces. I've looked on the website as of today that I am filming it. They are in stock. These are the shorts in cool beige and I'm wearing a size eight. And then this is the Trino button up. And I also have the Wilfred Free tiny bra in a size medium on in the sage color. Both of these pieces are in cool beige. I'm actually wearing this in a medium. I could have went down a size. I really could have went down a size. The day I bought this and showed it to you guys in my haul video, I even told you guys I could have went down a size because it's just so oversized. But I was too lazy to do the entire return process. So I ended up just folding the sleeves and leaving it oversized as is. I think wearing it open like this is super cute and like not too safari, but of course you can button it up and wear it as a like full on safari outfit. It's been quite a few hours since I resumed filming, so the lighting might have changed. Harley's also with us, but he seems like he wants to leave. Do you want to go outside? Harbles, nobody's out there. Okay, let me know when you want to come back in. I will leave the door like this. I had to do some errands, so I went out, but here is my third outfit. I'm wearing the ballad top in this really cute printed color. I checked, it's still available. And then these are the paper bag shorts from Wilfred. I'm wearing a size six. There's now a new version called the new paper bag short, I believe. And they're essentially the same short. It just has a paper bag waist with this really cute tie on the side. Very similar to the new tie front short. I'm not sure if those are still around, but they're very similar, but a little bit more casual. Has pockets on the side. I haven't tried tried the sizing for the new paper bag style short but these old ones I'm sure they're probably very similar they just update like little things here and there from them the old ones they sit they fit pretty true to size these are actually size six so I did size down in them and I even could have probably went down to a size four but for me a size six was comfortable this ballad top I'm wearing in a medium once again if you have bigger bust than I do you'll have to kind of I don't know, you might have to do like a little bit of a measurement test or best to try it on. This is very stretchy, so I mean like if you did have a big bust and you really needed to, it could fill it up, but it just wouldn't be like this cute little flouncy look. I wanted to show you guys with these shorts just because this is a like very stretchy kind of top with a peplum sort of bottom and normally you'd think, oh I can't tuck these in, but 
yeah, you can totally tuck these into the shorts and it would be very versatile. And this is the last outfit I'm going to show you guys. I know I did a whole video on how to style leather shorts. These are the Wilfred Labyrinth Shore. I'm wearing a size 8. Yes, they fit very true to size. I'm usually a size 8 when it comes to Aritzia bottoms. But this is new. If you watched my recent clientele haul, then you would have seen it. This is the Sunid camisole. It is a 100% silk and I'm wearing a size medium. I love this outfit so much. And when I filmed the leather short video, I obviously didn't own this top yet. So this is a halter top. It's more of or so like an apron as I'll show you later on but basically I love it so much because the back is so open but the front is very covered so these shorts go very high-waisted which hides the back here because the top is essentially just like a camisole and it kind of cuts off here I will rip this out and show you guys afterwards but I really like the silhouette that this outfit is giving me and it's very dressy but at the same time not really that dressy so let me show you guys what this top looks like when you just pull it out The tags are still attached because clearly I haven't had anywhere to wear these things but this is what it looks like when you're just wearing it. So if you wore this top with a pair of white jeans or like just a pair of skinny jeans it would look cute untucked but I always like to tuck it in usually to give myself some sort of definition and this is what the back would look like. It has two ties so I don't know, I call it my apron shirt because it's essentially an apron. But super cute, I love the neckline. All right guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this little current Aritzia summer 2020 styling video. Those are current pieces that you can definitely get. By the way, the Sydney top, really good discount right now. It's 50% off, so I forgot to mention that when I was trying it on. So you should definitely pick that up. But if you guys have any other requests for videos, leave them in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, as always, at underscore Hello Harley, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!